What's going on everyone, welcome to my channel. As you can tell from the title of this video, this is going to be me, my thoughts, my reactions to the KSI Logan Ball 2 fight. It was originally, I wasn't planning on doing a video for this, it was for my cousin Dallas who's done a vlog, I'll leave that in the description below for you to check that out. But I've just took some of my clips from it, they were so pure and I just, even as a memory I want this up here, some of you guys may enjoy it. It was something that I was so, so emotionally invested in, as you'll see from the upcoming clips and I was so, so proud of JJ. I am so proud of JJ, his team, Vidal, they proved everyone wrong. I totally believed in them the full time. I, I was neutral going into the fight like Azan, who I liked. I did like them both, but I knew this fight. Case I destroyed them mentally before it, and he was just worked so much harder. You can tell it. You knew it was happening. He was so much more sincere when he talked about things. But I speak about that a bit more in the clips upcoming. Um, hope you enjoy it. I'm sure you've have seen the reaction by now or. The fight itself, the highlights. So, put what you thought about the fight in the comments below. Let's get into the clips. Here we are, about two and a half hours out for the fight. Reese, what's your prediction for it? As KSI will win this in around, I've seen three, but I kind of want to say two, but I'm going for three is a safe option. I think he's absolutely destroyed them mentally before this. Literally, I said it on Twitter earlier that last time I've seen someone destroy someone mentally as much before this was probably McGregor and Jose Aldo when he knocked him out in like 12-13 seconds so I think Logan for all his hype men, his yes men behind him is going to fill him with such a false confidence case that he's got an actual team that will tell him truths and falsies about what's been going right, what's been going wrong throughout his camp and I think it's going to, Logan's going to get blown away by him, start panicking KSI is just going to come out on top of this, if not round 2 then round 3 at knockout Oh my god he looks like an absolute beast. I've never seen him like that in my life. Nah. I swear to God, I've never seen him like that in my life. I've seen this man sweating FIFA 12, Road to Glory, and I've <laughs> never seen him I've never seen him like this deadly serious right. either, man, you know what I mean? Jesus. Oh my God. Oh! Right now, I don't know if you guys can see it in camera, Reese is literally like that. 1 0 KSI, come on! 1 0 fucking KSI, here we go. Let's fucking go. That's a brilliant job, JJ! Oh, oh god. god, JJ! He's hanging on, he's hanging on, he's fucking gassed. He's gassed already, round two and he's gassed. He cannot take too much muscle. Another good jab for JJ to the chin. 3 0. 3 0, I'd say. A death. I don't know how they can say. I don't know how they can say Logan won the first round. 2 1 KSI, the absolute worst. I'll give it. Here we go, look. Boom. How's that not a knockdown? That's a knockdown. That's 100% a knockdown. That is a knockdown. See if he see if he couldn't hold on to KSI there, he would have fell flat. Yeah, 100%. He was falling flat. I've got no idea. No idea who I've got won no that. Idea. No idea. Don't go, don't go tomorrow. Just no. in case they know what the I'm, I've got no idea. I'm going to say... I swear to God it's going to be a draw. I'm going to say KSI. I am not joking, this is going to be a draw. I see whoever loses it, it's not going to be... Pure embarrassing. There's no knockout. Because, because there's no because knockout. Because the both of them fought relatively yeah. well, do you know what I mean? Yeah. The only thing about Logan winning is the knockdown and the hitting well down. So see if, like, see if KSI wins, Logan's not going to have anything to be like, oh well this was why. But KSI, even though it might not be why, it's almost going to seem sort of excuse yeah. because he did hit him when he's down and we don't know. How did well, that only, affect JJ? Only KSI knows only how JJ much knows that affected him. Only JJ knows how it affected him in the fight, eh? Bro, I am nervous right now. I swear to God, this is going to be. Why don't they make it seven rounds? Why don't Why don't they make the more numbers? I know. I know. <laughs> like I've never understood that. Why make it even rounds when you can draw? That's a knockdown. That's hundred percent a knockdown. Logan dragged JJ down. JJ didn't drag Logan it, down. It, Logan went down here. for the punch. I know. And he knocked him there again. I just, I wouldn't say that's a slip because JJ connected the punch and he went. Yes, man! 
Let's fucking go! Get them! Yes, man! Oh, the minute you heard you, I was like, don't say that. I know, I thought you said United I States. I know. <sighs> yes! Then I heard it. Down a little bit, and uh, the adrenaline's gone. Social media's blown up, as you can imagine, but I'm absolutely buzzing for JJ. It's literally, as I said before, you could tell it, he totally mentally beaten before. The fight he even started, he proved everyone wrong that thought because Logan had a bigger body he was going to win at boxing it's just it was literally absolutely close he thought Logan was genuinely going to win that fight but it was a lot closer than I thought to be honest and my respect to the two of them after it the two of them are literally I just said I'm a Twitter the two guys that proved that literally anything's possible in life with hard work and they two are absolute role models for our generations and I'm sure of years to come with stories but I absolutely loved it uh, but Logan needs to let go the Challenge and commission shit because uh, he's just never going to win that. It was legitimate to take two points off for that sort of thing, but absolutely loved it, buzzing. So, yeah, after getting home, after watching the boxing, now to sit back, now that I've calmed down to reflect on things, again, huge respect to the two of them. The interview after it was pretty interesting as well. Logan well, went to KSI first, the question of is the beef squashed? You kind of knew it was happening. The two of them were always going to have a handshake and show each other respect for, of course they both helped build each other up, build a brand even more, and then KSI squashed the trilogy, he was like, do you want to do this again, of course Logan said he wants to do it again because he lost, but KSI was like, nah, that is it, which is literally the opposite of what Logan wants to hear, because he, he wanted to go back in and try and get a short redemption, but KSI has proved his point, he's proved he's a better boxer, the only thing that's quite disappointing from Logan and his team is the... Thought, uh, the thought of them actually saying they're going to challenge the commission, like they're literally him, Jake, Mike a lot of them are all going on about saying they're going to challenge the commission because if it doesn't get overturned it's an absolute joke and boxing's a fix Jake's out saying that in interviews already that boxing's a joke and because KSI was having dinner with people from the zone and Joe Markowski and stuff last night that that's some, some sort of reason why he won that fight tonight, it's just the excuses are poor don't like seeing that coming out, I wish Logan would have just took it like a man and just went, right, fair enough, I think he'd have won a lot more fans that way, it's quite poor how it's getting handled, I do respect Logan and all his side, I do like them, I think once they've actually calmed down, they'll be like, right, okay, we probably shouldn't have been reacting like that after the fight, but one person who I don't respect, and I'm very glad they lost, is Shannon Briggs, I, I'm so happy that his fight I lost, I'm happy that he'll be feeling bad about himself and all that sort of thing, because the way he acted through that was absolutely mature. A man of his level of maturity, can I can I call it that? For his experience is probably the word I'm looking for. To act like a child the way he did all through that. I'm glad that he lost. Everyone else I've got that most respect for and I did say it at the time we were watching the fight, I've got the most the most respect you can get for these sort of guys. They're an inspiration to everyone. And say what you want about the boxing, maybe it wasn't the prettiest at times, but it takes absolute balls to get in that ring and do that. And they did, again, just show that anything is possible with unbelievable work ethic. And these guys are proving it. They're literally multi, multi, multi millionaires. At young ages, in case I was 26, Logan's 23. And literally, they are people that prove anything is possible in life. But I just wanted to make a short video of my reaction for this fight, guys. And I hope you've enjoyed it. I absolutely loved it. What will this be the end of YouTube boxing? Who knows? We've got Jake and Gibb and all those that are wanting to fight next. So I don't think it'll be the end of it. I think there'll be more to come on the zone. And I'll be looking forward to it when it does happen. But KSI has been crowned. He is the king of YouTube boxing. <laughs> lovely, lovely. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it if you checked it out.